In step one, we drew a good picture. We labeled the variables theta and z. Now we need to relate them. This angle is not 90 degrees, so we cannot use Pythagorean relation like we did in one previous problem. So we have to use the law of cosines, which is more general than the Pythagorean. Apply the law of cosines, so we get z squared, which is uh, a square of the opposite side to theta. That will stay on the left side of the equation, so z squared, equals the two sides adjacent to theta, each is squared, just like the Pythagorean, up to here it's the Pythagorean relation, only if theta was 90 degrees. Uh, what's new here is minus twice the product of those two sides, 3 times 1, times the cosine of the angle between those two sides. This is the law of cosine. We simplify it and we get this. So this is step two. Now step three is to relate the rates. So we need to differentiate the two sides with respect to time. Here theta and z are both functions of time t. Go ahead and do that before you watch the next video.